guys welcome back to my channel before we get into the video i'm going to show you all something first of all this is ifog's loadout or gunsmith and this is mine so don't compare these i focused on mobility and ads speed so my my loadout is mainly for close range fights but 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 if you look overall this is actually nice so don't compare both of these loadouts this is actually nice, I agree with that, but mine is not bad too. I've made it according to closing his fight, so let's just get right into it. So guys, welcome back to the channel. I just bought the Mano Cardinal. Unfortunately, when I bought it, I thought I was recording, but I didn't turn on recording, so sorry for that, but I just bought the Mano Cardinal. These are my attachments. Let's just get right into it. But before that, before that, we'll try it on the practice range first. I've just played one game with it because I thought I was recording before, so. I don't think you'll get my first reaction, but why not? This gun is just very awesome. I'll show you all the damages. It's a 3 tap on the chest also. 3 tap, 3 tap, 3 tap. All the way to the toes. It's a 3 tap. Oops. Hands. Shoulders. Everything is 3 tap. Let's see the headshots. That's a 27. Let's go on 10 meters. 34. That's a 37. Onto the legs. 34. 34. 24 till the toes on 10 meters also not bad not bad 20 meters okay head shots 27 24 24 24 it's actually three tapping everywhere the only thing you need to do is control recoil but if you don't know how to do it just Copy iFerg's loadout because his loadout is focused on recoil, not on ADS speed and mobility a lot. Let's see, 30 meters, maybe. Okay, that's reduced a bit. I'm not able to hit headshots, obviously. It's on 30, right? Yes. It's 28 and 30 headshots. Oh my god. You can easily 4 tap everyone. Okay, 40 meters. Let's reload and then check it. 28. I think it's 28 there also. Headshots for 30. Oh my gosh, you can 4 tap across the planet as Ferg told in his best guns video. And you can actually 3 tap up to 20 meters or maybe 25 meters so that's an awesome gun you should definitely go and check it out the reason i focused on mobility and ads speed also is that i just don't want to use it like i can be this far and like four type everyone i don't want to do that always i actually want to use it in close range fights long range fights i just wanted wanted to use it everywhere so that's the reason I made such of a loadout. Now let's just get right into the match. Maybe we play domination on Nuketown. Or maybe we play some featured thing. Let's see. Let's see who knows. Featured. What's new? Okay, why not play the tag of the undead? I just love this mode a lot. A lot, lot, lot. According to me, this is the best featured mode after hard code. Or maybe sometimes it's the best featured mode. They've increased its popularity by just keeping it featured. Or else, it, if it would have been one you and duels, like you can play it in private easily. It's not such a good game or such a good mode. 
Also, they've removed 1v1 duels from private match. And that's the worst thing they have maybe done on after I started Call of Duty Mobile. I don't know why they removed it, but they shouldn't have done that. Trip mine. And I'm a camper in a Attack of the Undead. I've got two nukes, one in my least favorite map. One in my second least favorite map. One is Raid and one is Tunisa. Okay, I'm undead. Actually, I just want to show you all the gun. So let's just break this match and quit it. Because I just want to show you the gun. That's the main thing. We'll see if we become the undead again. We'll just try some other mode. Okay. Also comment down below. How many of you all have at least bought the battle pass at least once? Just comment down below. Okay. Let's get on terminal. That's a big huge map. So maybe this will prove itself the gun. We'll choose the transform shield. Oops, oops, oops. Here you go. Let's see if you can climb on this maybe. You obviously can't but yeah. Let's just run around. On this map I barely can, but I do. One. Oh. I prefer not staying with anyone. Well, this time. Okay, where? Where? Oh. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to lose a lot of blitz. I need vulture. Okay. My teammate got it. Thank you. I think, I think on this map, with this gun, I'm not going to this camp always. Maybe at the end I will. Oh, minor assist. Minor assist. Oh, I thought I just had three shots on him because I obviously did to kill him. It is a three tap gun, guys. Let's reload and every kill now, I'll get a vulture. So maybe I'll retain my bullets. That's three shots. I swear I just said three shots. Oh my gosh. Dude. So guys, as you saw, that's the Man of War cuddle. We'll just complete this match for some gameplay, maybe. I just love that iron sight. It's kind of like the DRH. And maybe a lot of you all know that I don't like the DRH. But it's good. The iron sight is really good. On this gun. Because it has a combo of one... One of my DIH insights and also it has it has a included insight that's a trident kind of thing at the end. So that's the most favorite thing of mine about the gun. Like it has two good insights combined. Let's get that guy. Oh, I just heard him. Oh, that's a major assist. That was actually a good shot that I got. So, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And bye, I guess. Subscribe, like this video. And also share it with others.